There is no way all this stuff are going to fit in the suitcase. Well, they actually did. Hello there, puzzle friends. We are here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles. And as you may have seen in the title, we went to Thailand and we brought something together let's see what we did what we have for you today i will tell you already there is a lot of stuff coming today so here is the first one you see this is a, a picture of dragon ball it's a very small puzzle i believe it's 300 pieces 300 pieces yes uh from dragon ball z it's a uh, an anime puzzle which was uh, like this, it was not sealed, but the pieces are sealed. This one I bought from a flea market, and the other ones are from uh, uh, regular shops. I will tell you which ones they are. This one was the cheapest one I found. Well, it's in a flea market, so... Okay, but let's carry on. This one... And this one, I forgot to say, is from a brand called Enski, I believe. Artbox, and uh, sorry, it's from a brand Artbox. I already have puzzled one. It was again 3,000 pieces. It's, the quality was okay. I do believe they are made in Taiwan or something like this. Uh, and now we have something else. This is uh, from an artist Bouchard uh, from the National Gallery. I really like here the collage from with um, flowers. Uh, I believe I hope you see it and it's not um, so much uh, glare to it and this is from a brand flame tree I don't know the brand until, until, not, until now I didn't know it the dimensions are somewhat bigger than a 1000 piece puzzle in Europe uh, and here you see also this is the st from the from the shop. This one was bought from a shop called Asia Books. It's a very big, I believe, the biggest one in Thailand when it comes to books and stuff like this. And here you see also some history about the artist. A very interesting puzzle in a square box shape. I'm uh, very happy to have to have this and just. Uh, test it out as you know I like to test new brands and they also state here that they have a full image poster inside that would be also interesting to see and let's carry on let's see what we have and here I have something uh, very interesting I would say uh, this one is a jigsaw puzzle a round jigsaw puzzle of the earth circular shaped jigsaw from uh, planet earth from the brand Puzzlebilities, shaped, it's shaped, and in the, in diameters it's 24 inches if they are you in the US, or 60 centimeters or 61 centimeters from us in the UK. It's Hingler. I do believe this is a puzzle that actually comes from uh, Australia, and that's also the reason you can see that the, they also depict Australia in this jigsaw puzzle, which is very interesting. I do believe this is the first one that I have from Oceania, the continent there. I'm very happy to have, it was the only place, apart from Antarctica, of course, that I didn't have any puzzles from. I have from the Asia, I have from Europe. I don't, I still have, haven't one from Africa, but we will come to that sometime in the future. So a round puzzle, 500 pieces, a very interesting one, also from Asia Books. Uh, I said, very, very happy to have this one. And now we have something similar, which I actually found on the same shop. Uh, and was uh, quite uh, um, amazed, quite intrigued, that's the right word. I was quite intrigued from the shape of the box. It's a round box. You see, it's a very a round box. It's actually a, a little bit more heavy than the other ones, 
but it's to expect it because this one is a big one uh, it states that it's 2.5 feet or 76 centimeters across the diameter so it's a big one it's not that big when it comes to pieces it's 100 piece which is not necessary bad because as you can see it will not be on the easy side to make it but when it's only 100 pieces and the pieces are so big because the, the dimensions are big that would make it a little bit easier so it's a picture um, f featuring photography from NASA states here moon is also here very uh, artistic written on the side they have also these faces of the moon uh, again from Asia books this one are jigsaw puzzles i believe yeah they are made in san francisco also from the us but interestingly enough it's not easy for some reason to find them in europe in amazon or something like this uh, i have found one another one from the series which one uh, which i am thinking if i should buy it well if this quality is good uh, i will probably buy it uh, there i will probably buy the other ones too and this one is something that uh, a friend of mine is very keen and expects I want you to puzzle it I am waiting for the video that you make it we will make a video about it be sure about that and as I was already full with puzzles I still I was still looking because you may found something or you may not but either way I really like to show to see what puzzles I can find and I didn't find another one from the series and my friend said, you are crazy, you don't know how you could get all of this on the suitcase and you buy yet buy another one. Well, I did. But, as you can see, and as I already, already told, we managed to bring them, all of them, back. This is one is the Mars, again 1000 pieces, featuring the photography from NASA. And they also have the Polar here on the, from Mars, uh, the same dimensions. This is same price. I do believe this one was a little bit more expensive. This was from Asia Books, but from another uh, department, another um, uh, I forgot shopping mall. So again, very happy to have this one too. You see, these are the same, and in the series there exists also an Earth picture and a Mercury picture, at least until now. I don't know if they are planning to make more of the planet system or maybe the sun or something. Who knows? I, if you know, you can free to tell me. I went on the website and for the time being they have these four. So I will puzzle one of them, see if the quality is good and then I will probably buy the other ones too. Uh, and let's carry on. Uh, I have a very interesting story. I went to a, a dedicated jigsaw puzzle shop in Bangkok. Bangkok is the capital city of Thailand. Uh, I had made some research. I asked the locals there and I did find a shop that's dedicated to jigsaw puzzles. And they have a very big, um, a very active Instagram site, so account. You can probably browse there to see what they have and they are uh, very um, proud that they bring jigsaw puzzles from around the world and as i went there i did see what they have from the asia part of the europe or maybe from the asia part mostly because as you know i find the europe ones and the american ones yes i do find them but the asia ones are somewhat difficult to find them here some are more difficult some are less difficult this brand you can find it here this is a brand Pintu uh, it's from Taiwan and they are, the puzzles are plastic I don't know if you can tell from the sound they are plastic it's a very good quality I have made a vase of them uh, back in the day before I had a YouTube channel and stuff like this uh, this is uh, a picture of New York 300 pieces again uh, it's called sketches New York City uh, 
it states here that you don't need any glue to make it. I'm not sure what the mean of this category, as I said, but either way, you will see many to come in this collection because I did buy some of them. Uh, these are not on the cheap side, I should say, uh, because they are made from plastic and probably the cost to make them is a little bit bigger than the typical cardboard. But they are very nice to have them. I have already puzzled some, as I said, and I was very happy with their quality. This is a small one, which I bought. I said, ah, good, it's a small one, so I will probably be more able to put it on the back because the other ones are bigger. And you know the drill, 300 pieces is Elsa from uh, uh, Ice Queen, Frozen, Frozen is the name. Uh, I had seen an, a very a puzzle from the Frozen one, which I actually wanted to buy from the Japan. I never managed to get my hands on it. So <laughs> we can say that it's from somewhat like a compen compensation, so to say. I'm not the, the biggest fan from Frozen, but I did really like the movie. The second one movie, I haven't seen it yet. I have heard that it's good, but I haven't seen it yet. And we carry on with plastic jigsaw puzzle. This actually is somewhat um, damaged. The box is somewhat damaged from the uh, transport. Well, if you bring so much with you, some of them may be a little bit more damaged. But you see the puzzles here is also this uh, Mickey, so to say, um, I don't know how can you say, this Mickey stencil, let's say, I don't know if that's the right word. And it's a picture from uh, the Beauty and the Beast. And, and it says Silhouette Romance. Uh, so. You heard this, also, this is also plastic, this also doesn't need any glue, and this one is original made in Japan. So we started Japanese uh, jigsaw puzzles, and the, the, um, you see this one, 500 pisu. Also. And the dimensions are uh, 25 times 36 centimeters, and also some Japanese text on the back. And the brand of this, I don't know if they state the brand here. Good, they may say it here in the in the Japanese script script, but I'm not sure. I, I I'm not that good at reading the Japanese script. I do understand some of the characters, but I'm not that further that I can read them. From Japan, we have a lot of stuff. This one is um, also from Japan, also from this shop. This. Uh, that I told you about. This one is somewhat uh, lighter when it comes to weight. This one is from Tenio. Tenio is a very big brand in Japan. Uh, they have many Disney jigsaw puzzles. This is from New Milan. I really like the picture. It was also no, not so heavy. So I put it also to my collection. 5,500 pieces. And it looks somewhat so... Orient, should I say. Well, Mulan was also from China, or I'm not sure. I hope I'm not mistaken. Let's carry on. This one I really liked, also from the box, is somewhat smaller. 1,000 pieces, and the dimensions, keep watch up, the dimensions are 30 centimeters, 42 centimeters, which means the pieces will be a lot smaller than the typical pieces since the dimensions are somewhat half the size of the regular dimensions of the 1000 pieces in Europe and I believe also in Japan. Well, uh, I said here is the, the text about uh, some text and the picture we didn't talk about the picture is Winnie you probably understood and I really like that they have these uh, frames inside the puzzle so there are pictures in a picture. It's somewhat like a collage, but not so abstract. It's very distinct which picture goes where. 
Uh, I don't expect the frames to be so easy to make, especially because of the small size of the pieces. Still, I, I expect the, the final image to be very, very nice. So, I do believe we have one more that's this size, but we'll probably have to see it later. But let's go to something a little bit different. I also went, uh, as I said, to a flow flea market. And I went to a market that's actually more of clothes and apparels and stuff like this. But some shops there also have some stuff other. And I did find something that's interesting for this channel. I will lay them down so you can all see them. I hope, yeah, they, they are in frame. They are a little bit more than the frame. I make this so that you can see. As you can see, these are small jigsaw puzzles. Uh, each one of them is 30 pieces. Here I bring one close to you, you can see it. 30 pieces. And they are all from an anime series which has a difficult name, I always forget the name, but most of the people know it as Demon Slayer. And if you are an anime fan or a cartoon fan for that manner, uh, I really suggest you to go watch it. They have a fantastic artwork, the music is very nice, the story is very interesting, but I have to give that it's somewhat uh, violent. Let's say like this, but it's a very nice anime series, so you can uh, feel free to check it out. And I, I was actually looking to have a jigsaw puzzles from them, from this series, because I really, really like the series. I, I like anime series in general, but this one is one of the best ones I have seen yet. And I have some puzzles now to do them. They are small ones, but I have something in mind which I will not tell you now, you have to stay tuned to see what I have in plan. And I hope I will make also a video with this idea that I have. So, but uh, we have uh, many more, so let's carry on. I do believe this video will take really some time to finish. This one is also very famous from Japan, anime series. Uh, actually not anime series, it's an anime movie from Studio Ghibli. Uh, you may recognize it, it's from my neighbor Totoro. It's a very famous story in Japan. Uh, here also state the, the year, 1988, it was when the movie came out. And I really like, this is Totoro, and these are the two girls that actually are the protagonists of the film. I really like that they also have here the music, the notes, that you actually will uh, was singing in uh, in the song. I went to a Japanese uh, culture, this is from the Artbox brand, as well as the one with the 300 pieces. Uh, I, re I went to a, an, actually an, a Japanese fest here in Munich, which was held uh, after three years, na um, after the Corona time. And uh, they also had some uh, singing and some uh, um, concerts and stuff like this. and. Two different people sang this specific song and because I like to combine my jigsaw puzzles with uh, memories that I have, I did buy this one. I also liked the movie, so it was a win-win-win situation. Uh, this one is like the one I said, that uh, com comes to the size like this one. The same brand, the same number of pieces, the same dimensions of the final image. And it's a, a picture of Mickey Mouse and his friends. I also see, see a, here Clarabelle. Uh, I do hope she's also called Clarabelle in English, I'm not sure. Uh, so it's a very nice image. I don't have many Mickey Mouse images, but in Japan they, they tend to have many Jap uh, images from the Mickey Mouse uh, characters. And they are somewhat different than the ones that we have here in Europe, or maybe in the America, for that matter. Uh, so, let's carry on to something more Japanese uh, art style, let's say. 
this one this one is uh, I don't know the name it says fantasy art 1000 pieces uh, yeah the dimensions are probably the same 72 times uh, 49 so somewhat the same uh, uh, when it comes to size about the size of the final jigsaw puzzle it's an image of the dragon uh, of the, the tra traditional dragon they have these long dragons somewhat like the Sheng Long I believe it's called from the Dragon Ball series so I, I really like this image and I do believe uh, um, it will be hard to puzzle but I do believe it will be a fantastic image as a final image so very happy to have uh, this one too as you see I'm always happy about my jigsaw puzzles well I'm puzzle wako what can I say so uh, this one was very interesting. Uh, I did see this with the dinosaurs. I, I like dinosaurs. I'm not that of a dinosaur expert, so to say, but I do know some stuff and most of the names come somewhat uh, derived from Greek words and stuff like this. A very interesting thing about this is that I, I really like that they li write the names and in the, the Hiragana script. Uh, I will not try to read it for you online i can try to when i have many time and so on. i found the interesting that they also have this fish the silankang fish which is actually a fish that was thought to be extinct and then they found it again i do have a jigsaw puzzle that has the, the silakan and i also bought a t-shirt that has the silakan here uh, from <laughs> again from this uh, visit to thailand now we go to some pintus again one time, one thousand two hundred pieces. Uh, this one, I really like the idea that this is so. Uh, the mouse town here, or the yeah, this is the mouse town, and I really like the idea of the town. It does remind me of some cartoony uh, PC games that I was playing when I was young in the nineties and stuff like this. So I, I, I like the, the road, uh, the red color on the flowers. Here they have also these etages. And so it's, it's very childhoodish, so should I say. It's a very childhoodish image, at least for me. I don't know if you have this childhood too, or you, if you're older or younger. Either way, I'm uh, very happy to have it. I do have bought a similar one like this one i was hesitating which one should i buy and i end bu up buying both of them this one uh, this one is the same in the market and uh, they do have these uh, berries strawberries uh, blue um, cashews uh, they have these cherries here here they have uh, nuts almonds uh, hazelnuts um, I probably butcher the names in English there. They have this. Uh, I do. I get. Yet I forget the name in English. Uh, so they have so many nuts and so many fruits, so many stuff. So, so I said yes. This would be also a very interesting addition to my collection, and I really like the idea of puzzling the puzzling it. So which I ha ah, this one goes there. This is this one. This is this one. This is this one. So I do believe this will be a very fun to make. I'm trying to see if they actually say the dimensions of the puzzle when it's uh, ready. Here the dimensions are 58.8 centimeters times 37.8 centimeters. So, although they are, this is 1,000 pieces, the other one is a little bit bigger, 1,200 pieces, uh, the dimensions are somewhat smaller than the 1,000 pieces. And this one is also smaller than the 1,000 pieces, 58.8, 44.6. So this the uh, difference, I, I thought both of them were 1,000, 1,200, 
1,200 pieces, but one of them is 100, the other one is 100, 2,000 pieces. That's also an extra reason to buy them, so to say. And this one I have also bought the two ones. And then is, there is a bigger one, which is somewhere here on the pile. Uh, this one, well, also two ones, which I was not sure, should I buy this one or should I buy the other one? So I ended up buying both of them. But let's see this one first. This one is, uh, both of them are sceneries of trains. I, as you probably know, if you are watching the channel, uh, I do really like trains and train scenery and stuff like this. 1,200 pieces again. And the dimensions of this one are the same as the other one. And what I really like about these is that they state on the jigsaw puzzle exactly which place is this picture taken from. This, I believe, it's more painted or illustrated. But either way, it's probably inspired or the, or the, or made by watching this uh, in actual life. Uh, don't ask me where this is. This is written in in kanji letters, so it will be very difficult for me to read. I will probably write it uh, on the description. And this one is the other one, more of a scenery, a snowy scenery, and uh, as again you see here where it actually is on the map. And I do believe the names of them are also um, where the actual place is. They do have a code here or something like this. And the box doesn't look that much of a quality, but the pieces were uh, very good quality, at least to my knowledge. Either way, I do have some of them now. So we will probably tell how good of a quality they are. And now let's come to something crazy, which the people that saw it said, you are crazy to buy this one, but what can I say? We do have to do some crazy stuff for us and for the chairman. This is uh, probably one of the most, probably the most difficult puzzle of this batch and probably one of the most difficult puzzles that I have in general. This is a puzzle piece of puzzle pieces. Yeah. It doesn't have the state that that's impossible, but you can tell it is impossible. I do have a very similar one uh, from Ravensburger, which I expect to be much more easier. But then again, I have to puzzle it first to see. I may do a jigsaw puzzle video comparing these two. This is also 72 times 49 centimeters, 1000 pieces. Uh, but uh, for that we will probably have to wait some th time because they are really on the hard side. This one is from another shop. Uh, this un until now they were from Asia Books. These ones and these were from uh, Jigsaw Mania, the Jigsaw puzzle dedicated to puzzles in Bangkok in Thailand, which is not so easy to find. Believe me. Uh, and this one is from another bookstore uh, chain which actually exists in more countries in uh, Asia, in East Asia. It's called Kino Kuniya. I hope I pronounce it, uh, this right. I will write it also in the description. Uh, so Kino Kuniya, which has many jigsaw puzzles from Japan. What's interesting about uh, the visit that I did in Thailand this time, Kino Kuniya had different puzzle than the Jigsaw Mania uh, the, um, um, shop. I don't know if that was on purpose, I don't know if it was something that just happened. Either way, I went to both of them and I did, did buy some stuff, as you see. And we carry on with some of Kinokuniya jigsaw puzzles. This one, you see, is not sealed wrap. Not because it was not, because I had to open it and put another jigsaw puzzle inside because the, the, the place in the suitcase was not enough. So let's open it and 
pull out also the smaller jigsaw puzzle. I have also kept the sealed wrap because they have uh, they state on, on there the price and stuff like this, which is uh, information that I'd like to keep. I already have made an, a video what I do with this information. Feel free to check it out. Uh, so this is a scenery in Japan. So ah, and they say harvest season in Shirakawa Go. Uh, yeah, and this is probably the artist Hideaki Tanaka. I do believe they also had yeah they also stayed here where exactly in Japan uh, this place is. This is from the brand, uh, I, I know the box, I have already made, Apple One. This is from the brand Apple One, a very famous Japanese brand, which they also have here most of the time. A puzzle piece that's shaped like an apple. So, Japanese countryside, Apple One, Japan, you can't go wrong with this uh, combination. We carry on, as I said, this is one is that one that was inside the other one because of uh, space saving uh, I had this upside down um, another pin too we do have some uh, I don't know if one or two small ones 6,000 uh, 6, 600 pieces um, Cotton Lion Coon Magic House says here I actually thought the name was Red Panda or something like this. Either way, this one is a jigsaw puzzle that I actually had decided to buy from the shop that I regularly buy in Germany because they do bring some pintos. I'm not sure if they are still bringing or, or not. But this one was out of sale, so it was sold out. So I never got the chance to make it because as I said, these ones are more on the expensive side. And we hear when you buy a lot of puzzles, such as I do, yeah, you also have to look about these prices. Um, either way, I do have it now. I'm happy to have bought it as usual. And a lovely image. How big would it, would it be? Let's see. You heard the, the plastic tiles. Uh, 44 times 30. 44.6 times 30.8 so it's not that small it's an interesting one this would be probably a little bigger than the other ones the, the pieces and now we have another one which is also not sealed wrap let's open it and see what I have first what I have hidden inside there ah this one is very interesting I will show you right away this one is also an apple one and this one I fell in love the moment I understood what this jigsaw puzzle actually shows. Uh, this one is the from shoe, uh, not as, as in shoe, the shoe that you wear. Shoe, let me bring it close to you, maybe you can see it. Shoe, uh, I believe it was called Migo Gutsi, Migo Gutsi. Anyway, the artist's name is Shoe. I have made a Japanese artist, I have made the jigsaw puzzle from him. Uh, it was a lady in kimono with sakura blooms. It was a very beautiful puzzle. I really love his art. Uh, and this one, you may have already uh, made it out. This one is Alice. Alice in Waterland. But his interpretation of Alice in Waterland. It's uh, much different than the one that Disney has. But why did I fall in, in love with this puzzle? Because if you see it close, it's as if jigsaw puzzle pieces are scattered away, as this is a jigsaw puzzle piece image, an image that actually has jigsaw puzzle pieces, and not in a manner that uh, from the supposed puzzle that I showed you, but in an artistic manner. And so, as soon as I saw it, I said, this is one that I have to buy. And as I, I actually did. Very, very happy. And here is a red rose. This one is something very important to remember for a video that I'm preparing. Uh, very, very, very happy to have this one. As you see, the pile is getting big. We do have some more. 
we're not yet we are not there yet and let's go to the next one the one that was hidden inside here is this one it's called tarot of the divine by yoshi yoshitani it's probably the artist 1000 pieces this one is a potter puzzle yes potter puzzles uh, a brand i believe i have heard again uh, it's not one from the brands that are um, sold in asia or something like this i don't know if this image is also sold here but i found it interesting and this one was on the first shop that i get, went and i said ah, it, it looks interesting i don't have many potter puzzles or i may have none so i did buy this one it's heavier than the, actually the other ones it may be the piece the pieces are a bit a little bit thicker or something like this either way an interesting puzzle this is uh, more to the simplistic style than I usually buy, but either way it's interesting. Uh, and we also have one new jigsaw puzzle and one new brand in the collection. And we go yet again to something more Japanese again, or at least a Japanese interpretation. Uh, Mickey Mouse. That's why I say Japanese interpretation. So Mickey Mouse is uh, universal now, it's not only American. It's a panorama picture, as you can see. It's um, 4,056 pieces. An interesting uh, number of pieces there. I already have one jigsaw puzzle, that's the same amount of pieces. And this one is a nightmare before Christmas, but this one was on, the, on, on this. So it was like this, not on this. Uh, dimension. I uh, found it interesting. I said it would be a very interesting collection. The dimensions you can see here is uh, 18 centimeters um, 0.5 times 55.5 and it was something like an old Mickey Mouse memory cartoony uh, interesting image so I thought I bought it. I thought I buy it and I buy it. I bought it. Um, I don't remember the brand. Uh, yeah, I don't. I can actually not find it yet. So now, on the quick glance that I do make, either way, Mickey Mouse panorama, Japan. Again, a win-win-win situation. Now we go to something very interesting. This is also from Pin2, the biggest one I bought from Pin2. It's a 2000 piece. Where does it say that's how many pieces? Here, a 2000 piece. There you can see the price. Uh, and it actually says that it's not the actual image. Though the image is somewhat different than the one here depicted. But I really like that it's an, in an anime way as it's in a japanese uh, artistic way so like an anime good uh, in manga way anime is uh, when it's on the television so i i said this one i have to buy it and i bought it it's actually quite heavy but with 2000 pieces and it says here some interesting uh stories and stuff like this uh Good. Ah, here you see some differences. Some, for example, this lady here is not like this, but she is like this. But this is something that I and this lady is wearing uh, um, headphones. But I, it's not. I have already puzzled puzzles that uh, the picture is somewhat different. The was this puzzle. It, for me, it was not that difficult. I believe I made the same amount of time as I would if I had the picture in front of me. But uh, they are easier because they are on the cartoony side and the colors are very vibrant and easy to distinguish. Either way, very, very happy to have this one. Uh, as I said, a little bit heavier than the other ones, but it was worth the trouble if I can name this trouble. Uh, now we go to something somewhat different, which is as, uh, the other one already open because I 
had to put something inside. But let's see first what this big one is. So, as I already said, this was sealed wrap, but I opened it to save some space. Uh, this one is from the Pomegranate. It's a brand that they actually is in Europe. I believe they are from the UK. I haven't reviewed them yet. I have some puzzles from them, but I haven't puzzled them yet. I will come to it. I say this for all the puzzles, and then you will ask probably, when are you coming to it? Yes, I will come to it. And this year will be very busy. I have to see how I manage my time. Uh, this one is an image of uh, Dragon of the Yance, is the name. Uh, it's a dragon. He has some a sphere here in his foot or the hand. Uh, I, they have here some. It's a very interesting image that are a lot of stuff happening. I don't know if there is some mythology hidden there or how the artist was, um, which the name is, you can see here, how the artist was inspired to do such an image. And I did buy it because I'm not sure if the act this actual image has the rights to be uh, sold also here in Europe. So I said, yeah, uh, it's interesting. It was also in the first shop, the Asia Books shop. Uh, so I did buy it. Actually, that's interesting because the last time I went to Thailand, I didn't find any jigsaw puzzles. I found only pomegranates and puzzles that are were already here, and I bought only one. This time I went overboard and overweight. Uh, let's see what was inside this one. A complete uh, jigsaw puzzle uh, with uh, the best sites of the world. That is uh, what it's called. I can already recognize Sagrada Familia, this is in Florence, the Pisa Tower. I do believe this is the Cathedral from Cologne, the Paris, uh, the Eiffel Tower in Paris, the New York's, um, the building of in New York. Uh, these are from uh, Easter Island. This is in uh, Australia, the Ayers Rock, uh, the uh, Pyramid. I don't know if this is Saint Michel or something like this. The mountains are also no coincidence. This is probably the Kilimanjaro or Fujiyama. Uh, yeah. Ah, this is this one is in, in Greece. Uh, this is an actual statue that's in the Archaeological Museum in Athens. Which, uh, if you happen to be in Greece, you have to see it. It's beautiful. I was very amazed as I, as I saw it as a kid. Uh, yeah, there are probably many more um, here in Istanbul to recognize and so on, but it will take ever to describe all of them. This is from a brand, a brand called Beverly, also an a, a Japanese brand. I do know them. I'm not sure. I will probably have puzzled them, but I don't remember actually. Uh, I have to check which Japanese puzzles I have that are Beverly and which are another brand or stuff like this. I do have another one that's similar and it's coming uh, next on the video. And now we have something uh, that's very special for some people. One piece. It says magical piece jigsaw. I was already asked why it's magical. I cannot really tell you because I haven't opened it yet. It may be because of the, when I hear it, I believe they have plastic pieces. So maybe that's the reason they say it's magical. Uh, it's the straw hats, uh, the Mugivara team, so to say. Uh, and it's uh, some episodes back because there would be a change if they make the picture now. I don't tell you because you may not are so have may not seen the last uh, the last episodes, and I don't want to make any spoilers. So uh, the Luffy, the captain, and this is somewhat black and whitish, but they have here some little colors on the characters. So a very interesting piece. 
a very interesting jigsaw puzzle. Here they may say why it's called a magical jigsaw. Uh, it was also a little bit more expensive than the... Uh, because this one also existed as a regular jigsaw puzzle from another brand. Uh, this is art box and I said would, I will buy the magical one to see what's the difference. Uh, and this one is the one that I said I have something similar. I didn't remember that this one was actually in a bigger box than the other one. Here is the other one. So this is probably uh, has small pieces made in Japan. Thirty-eight times twenty-six, seventy-two times forty-nine. So there is also a difference there. This one is the size of Japan. The best size of Japan. We have now Fujiyama, some fireworks, a rainbow. I don't know why they put a rainbow there. Maybe it's a specific place where they have beautiful rainbows, or it's important in their culture. I don't know. Either way. Uh, it will be an easy part to make the rainbow. Uh, I do believe this is um, the Osaka Castle. This is the Tokyo Sky Tree, which actually is inspired from Eiffel Tower. But I believe it's somewhat taller, but you cannot tell because they have many skyscrapers where it's located. Uh, some Sindor shrines and temples. Uh, don't ask me what all of these are. I was. Um, and I don't know if this one is uh, in Osaka in... No, in this one is in Osaka, in uh, Shinsekai, New World. To this building I have been here on the top. I was once in Osaka. A very good experience. And I will probably go again when they open the borders or when they are more ready to accept. Uh, and this is the Kliko sign, it's also in Osaka. Very famous district there. Uh, yeah, Japan, as a fan of Japan, a jigsaw puzzle that has a combination of sites in Japan, well, you know. And now something that I'm very, 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 very happy that I have it. I have seen it on online and this one was the first jigsaw puzzle that I actually bought the moment I went inside the jigsaw puzzle villa. This one. If you are from the 90s, you probably know, you have seen the movie. It's one of the best movies that Disney ever made. Uh, the details, the story, the acting, it was all amazing. The animated movie in the 90s. And this one is a very famous scene that many people were talking about as the, uh, the small lion Simba was growing up. I don't believe this is a spoiler. I believe everybody has seen this movie. As was growing up with Timon and Pumba. Singing Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. So, and we have the last box, which are two puzzles. Because as I said, I had to save some space. So let's see first the small one. Or let's see the big one. Let's see the big one first. The big one is also a Disney uh, collection movie. As I said, I don't have many Disney pictures. And I like from Disney the animated that they did this time. The movies they make now are somewhat other, something different. But this one, the classics, are our childhood. And will be the childhood of many children to come. So I did buy this, this they are playing some music and they have some spectators from probably the movies Bambi and stuff like this. Very interesting picture to have. Uh, I find it somewhat more interesting than the one that exists that's um, very big, 32, 13,000 pieces or something like this. Although I have one that's 6,000 pieces and I do believe they also play music there. Uh, so, the dimension of these, as are this one, for this one, are the same, 51 times 73.5, so a little bit bigger than 50 times 70, which is somewhat 
how can I say this, somewhat difficult if you want to frame them. Because there, are, there exist ready frames that are 50 times 70, and they, they are a perfect match, should I say. If the puzzles are so big or a little smaller, they're very good. This one, if you want to frame them, you have to make a frame that's uh, specially made for you. Although, the, in Japan, is very common. And in, you know, in Kinokuniya shop, they also had this. It is very common that they also have the frames, which are exactly the, fra the dimensions of these puzzles. And you can buy them di directly from the shop. I don't remember the prices, don't ask me the prices, and that would, wouldn't would make any sense for me, since I did buy the puzzles to bring them back here. If I had lived there, then maybe it had make it some sense. And the last but not least, the video was actually really long, I believe, is another 1000 pieces puzzle, uh, small box, so I guess, yeah, small dimensions. Uh, these are the... Um, signs of the, the the twelfth sign the twelfth zodiac signs which are depicted they also have the these signs these uh, images i didn't uh, i didn't remember that which uh, they were also on the big six of puzzle that i did in rabbit's boogie which i have some videos about it uh which actually was not the best puzzle that I made, but I do expect this one to be much more easier because it's not so many pieces and much more better in quality. I have never actually gone wrong in terms of quality uh, in jigsaw puzzles coming from Japan until now. And I, I expect that I will not go wrong because the stuff that I make in Japan most of the time they are, they are on the expensive side but they tend to produce quality products, at least the ones that are to my interest in. So that were the jigsaw puzzles for today. I do believe they were enough, so to say. Uh, I hope you liked this. They were somewhat unusual when it comes to my jigsaw ch puzzle channel and uh, unusual to the ones that I see on the YouTube or on the Instagram and stuff like this, because, as I said, they are from Asia and they are not that famous. I see some that are not the, so familiar to me because they're from the US or from the Australia, but these ones, I do see them because I follow a hashtag in Instagram that's Japanese hashtag and so, but uh, on the YouTube I haven't seen many of them. And I do hope this is a good addiction to the content that we create. Uh, but that you have to also to tell me. Did you like this? Would you buy some of this? Probably you will not buy all of this. But you are not me. You are you. Everybody is accepted. Everybody does what he likes the best. Uh, feel free to tell me in the comments which one did you like the most. I know for some part that uh, I had a friend that is already expecting that I make the video about these two uh, round ones because he found them very interesting. If I had to tell which one I find the best, uh, I think it would be a difficult choice. But I am very, I really like the idea of, of Alice, I believe. Because if it's a jigsaw puzzle in artistic way inside the jigsaw puzzle. And I really like, as I said, Shu, the artist. So that's it from it for today. Thanks again for watching and staying so late because this is probably very long the video. And until next time, goodbye and happy puzzling. Stay safe. Goodbye.